Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. In today's video, we're going to be getting the PlayStation 3 emulator RPCS3 running through the attract mode front end in Windows. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. What's up everybody, Harrison Hacks here. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to let you know that over on my Patreon page, I do have a completed build that is completely portable for attract mode, and you get systems for all the way up to PS4, Xbox 360. At the end of this video, I'll just leave uh, some B-roll footage of what systems are going to be included, and it really helps support the channel. But let's get into the guide. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and it's going to take you to the RPCS3 download page. Scroll on down. For Windows, just left click on the download button. There is another link in the description as well and that's going to take you to get the PlayStation 3 software update. So you'll want to scroll down until it says how to update PS3 system software it'll look like this for you. You're going to want to update using a computer. Click this little plus. Right click on the download PS3 update, save link as, and just save it wherever you have your Attract installed. If you've been following along my guide, you'll already have Attract mode installed. If not, I'll post in the top right hand corner of the screen and you can go ahead and get started from scratch. So now that we have those two things downloaded, you're going to want to start with your RPCS3 7-zip file. This is the emulator itself. I'll link to 7-zip if you don't have it installed. But I'm going to right click, 7-zip, extract to. You're going to end up with this folder. So I'm going to rename mine. Right click, rename. I'm just going to call it RPCS3, just like that. So now what we're going to want to do is go into the RPCS3 folder and install the firmware. So we're going to launch up the emulator, rpcs3.exe. And here I'm going to click, I read the quick start guide, do not show again, continue. Now before I install anything, I'm going to go to config. And I like to go to the GUI. Do I want to show the exit game dialog? No, I don't. Just like that. And then we can go ahead and hit apply, save. Now we're going to go into our pads. Player 1, handler, I'm going to do a DualShock 3. And it says it's disconnected. So what you want to do, I'm using an Xbox controller, but I'm going to do SDL. You can do X input if you so choose. But now my Xbox controller is working just like that. I'm going to hit save. Now we're going to go to file. Install firmware. Left click. We're going to go to where we downloaded our ps 3 updatepup file from the internet. We're going to click open. This is the latest 4.91. I'm going to put don't show again. Hit OK. And now this is going to take some time to install all of the PPU modules and things like that. So I'll come back when it's complete. OK, so mine just completed. If I scroll down, we're good to go. So now what I'm going to do is go to config one more time. And I like to do the emulator. And what I want to do here is start games in full screen mode. I like to click that. And then I'll hit apply, save, and we're going to close the emulator. Now let's close out of here. We're going to take our RPCS3 folder and drag it into our tracked folder. Just like that. We can get rid of the installation 7-zip file. Delete. And I can also get rid of my firmware update file. Delete. So you're going to want to have a game, and I use PKG format, PKG and wrap. So I'm going to go into my attract. 
I'm going to go into RPCS3, and I'm going to launch the emulator one more time. And this time, we are going to hit File, Install Packages, Wraps, EDATs. Then we're going to go to our Games folder. I just have one game here. I'm going to install the PKG file. Yes. OK. Now I'm going to go to File, Install Packages, Wraps, EDATs again. Install my wrap file. OK. Now I'm going to close out of the emulator and let's go ahead and get this going in attract mode. So in the description of the video, you're going to see some text like this. I want you to highlight everything just like so. Right click, copy. Then we're going to go into our attract folder, emulators, right click on a blank space, new, text document. And for right now, we're just going to leave it as new text document.txt, but we're going to open it up, right click, paste. And then where it says system, Sony PlayStation 3, just want you to highlight Sony PlayStation 3, right click, copy. We're going to go to file, save. We'll close it. And now we are going to rename this file. So we'll right click, paste. And instead of txt, we need to put .cfg. So Sony PlayStation 3.cfg. Do you want to change it? Yes. So we're going to need to figure where our ROMs are. So let's go to Attract, RPCS3. We're going to go to dev underscore hdd0. And we're going to go into Game. And now what we're going to do is go up to the address bar, left click one time. Now everything's highlighted. We right click, copy. And then let's go to our attract folder again. And then we'll go into emulators. We'll open up PlayStation 3. And for our ROM path, we're going to right click and paste. So what I like to do is just put a backslash at the end of game. Now what you're going to want to do is go from RPCS3 in your ROM, just like this in your ROM path. We're going to right click, copy. So just this part, we're going to left click before the backslash of your executable, right click, paste. Now where you want to put your media for your box art, cart art, wheels, all that stuff, we can go ahead and take everything except for the backslash of our ROM path. Right click, copy. We're going to go before the backslash of box art, paste. We're going to do the same thing for the rest. So cart art, marquee, snap, and wheel. So there we go. We have our emulator configured, file, save, close. Now let's go ahead and launch up our attract mode. So here we are. We're going to hit tab on our keyboard. We're going to go up to emulators and you can press enter or you, if you have your controller configured, you'd press A on an Xbox controller. Down to P PS3. Click it, press up and we're going to want to go to Generate ROM List. It wrote three entries, but that's okay. What we're going to want to do is scrape artwork. Now, whether or not it finds anything, typically for PS3, I have to add my own artwork. But we're going to press over. Now, these two games here, I'm going to show you how to delete them from your ROM list in a minute. But we're going to click on the NPUB, that's our X-Men, and we can rename it. But there you go, it's launching up. And I won't make you watch it compile all the modules, so once this is done and the game launches, I'll show you where to go from there. So my game is up and running, and I'm just going to exit out and go back to attract mode. Now you are done here, but if you want to delete on the ROM list, let's go ahead and do that. So what you'll want to do here 
is just go to your ROM list folder inside of your Attract folder. And we're going to find PlayStation 3. We're going to open it up. Now here, the first part, you're going to want to leave alone. But here, the second name. So it goes the name of the folder, semicolon, then this will be the display name. So what I'll do is put X-Men Arcade and these two listings I do not want here so I'm gonna do like this file save close and now if we were to launch a tract one more time you can see that it's X-Men Arcade and we're good to go so you can stay tuned for this video. Um, there's going to be about a minute long of me just showcasing my build over on Patreon. And you can check out what systems are included thus far. Uh, I'll continuously be adding to that. Uh, but that's going to do it for this tutorial. Really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.